Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, as the regular season is officially complete. And now, we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next, after this. Hey folks, Son of Beast here, back for another NBA Playoffs. This time, Game 5 is back again at Philadelphia. The Sixers have won against the Bulls in Game 4, along with the quickest, fastest buzz beater across was James Harden. Yeah, James Harden was only the man for himself. Now he might be figuring things out if he's ready to spruce it up again and go for it a second time. Well, we'll see what happens here. There's a choice in between the Bulls or the Sixers. Right now the series is tied. Let's bring things on at Wells Fargo Center to present the state form of the NBA playoffs of Eastern Conference of Game 5. Let's get going. And over the last game, it was a done season for Dallas Mavericks. As Utah Jazz moves on to play against the Phoenix Suns. In for the second round. And now we're waiting for the other team, the Warriors, to play against the winning team against, like, in between the Timberwolves or the Grizzlies. So that will be happening next. So you don't want to miss that one out here after the Eastern Conference game. So let's spruce it up here for tonight's game. Enjoy the game, folks. Philadelphia, biggest place to be here from downtown of the Philadelphia, home of the Sixers. Levine and Vucevic, of course they have got lots of stuff here to bring things on. Bulls, Sixers, next on NBA Playoffs of 2K Sports. Thanks for tuning in for another craziest matchup here in the Eastern Conference Playoffs. Right now we have David Aldridge on the sideline with me and me, me as me phone and a Beast. And with the status out there, we go for Tristan Thompson. His most average is close, but it was 10.2 in 2019 to 20. A terrific season here for Tristan Thompson. It's all that they have here so far, so they got a lot of numbers here to pick him up the pace. In the backup, it might be true. It's well enough. Well, you might get it. And let's go to David Aldridge on the sideline. David, all yours. Thank you very much. Well, it may be hard to remember now, but Joel Embiid did miss his first two seasons due to injuries. He said, it was rough. Think about what I went through and how it prepared me to be a better man. I really feel like I'm the process, and the process is about me. So every time I step on the court, it's all about having fun. I'm just enjoying my time in the league. Devin, back to you. Thank you so much, Sheriff David. With a lot of good memories, it's for Joel and me to give it a start. And the courtesy of the lineups is being upheld as we have the key matchups. Nikola Vucevic against Joel Embiid is the key matchup in the center. Billy Donovan always knows that he was the head coach here for the Bulls after discussing here for the last game. This is all that happened here that just brings up here just the tightness of the board it can be very difficult. It's all tipped. Sixers wins the ball, and we are ready to go in Philadelphia of Game 5. As you see the Sixers starting up the lineups here, we have Mr. Tobias Harris, then it's Batiste Feibel. Along the way is James Harden, then it's Joel Embiid, and across from down there is Tyrese Maxey. Always know about Tyrese Maxey, who really has got himself so far the first the next person to beat NBA gets drafted here for the Sixers. A lot of work out there. It can be much more than he had. 
jump ball called by Vucevic and Harding. This will be happening, stopping the clock at 4.26 to go. Ball tipped again. Sixers cannot make the jump ball. It's now Caruso with the ball. Bulls really know they really got some hard picks out there, so they need to start sorting things off. Does it for three. Good on a triple, and it's now a three-point game to pick up a free first three. Yeah, Dasamu, they really have gotten some spirits out there. They really need to start showing things off with a lots of momentum out. Back over Feibel, back to Harden. Harden sweeps back to Feibel. Backing over is Maxi. Five to shoot. Three for Harden. Good on a triple! James Harden receiving his first three-pointer. He's like an all-top big along, man. He rose in on Tobias Harris, screen on Vucevic. The great D on Darden and no foul given up on the Sixers. That's a clean look here. That's because what you need to know here, they've got a good, they got some good defense that they want to go for. Tobias Harris got his first assist here, and also with the first bucket, Matisse Feibel. Now Levine, he's on Feibel. Trying to work his way around here to try to scoop it up. Two-pointer can't hit. Fibo reaches up here for this first rebound. He swiftly moves over to MB. Fibo with the screen. He gives it back to Fibo. Going right over is Harris. Back to MB. Four to shoot. Two for Harris. Good. That's a three-baller! Now 10-3. This is going to be a really waking ball. wake up there with that call. They like they love to do it. Dazamu over Harden. That's got good. That's a number two-point releasement here for Dazamu. His second bucket of the night. Harden with the ball. And he goes inside the paint. Doesn't want to slow down at that point. That's five in a row for James Harden. Five points. What a great, great technique out there. Must, must be coming up here big and alive. It might be ready to go for another one. MB takes his first rebound. Now he dishes off to Maxi. Maxi rolls over to Harden. He bounce passes to MB. Over to Asimu. Scott's good. Jermaine Beads gets his first bucket. And Arden with the assist. Yeah, I always hear that. The plus. And boo. That's what you hear the announcer. That's because of all the act. Wow, the driving on DeRozan lead to a fall crash. Timeout first called by Philadelphia with a minute and 30 to go. Or a minute and a half, I should call for. Can't comply with that. And great uh, requirements here for a coach to call a timeout here because of uh, Doc Rivers, he's the ultimate head coach here for the 76ers. Now he wants to gain and help this team out if they want to keep an eye on them. So they must do it quickly before running out of time. So they might need to try something else to go with a different plan. Substitution for the Bulls and for the Sixers as Danny Green is checked in. He will all five players checked in and out as some players move over to the, in the guarding positions. Danny Green is checked in for Matisse Feibel and Korkmaz is checked in for Tobias Harris along with DA checking in for, for Joel B. Three pointer Korkmaz. Good on the triple. It's a Harden with the assist. And now they have 17 7 lead in the first quarter. Nice, nice, good, nice, good attacker out there. He's really gone better. Millsap going in the paint. Now he gets up to Korkmaz. Goes back to Niang. Niang searching a bit. Now he finds Millsap. Now he wants to pressure things up a bit. Now he tries one again. Six to shoot. 
Millsap, up for two. No good on the two. White, back to Caruso. Alex Caruso steps inside to make the drive. 17-9 is the score. The rounds up to be only 20 seconds left. They really have gotten a, a lot much better to play here on offense because what they've done here, they've really gotten a, a, number, a number of keys and they really need to like keep those out, out of the pace line. Wow, Horton, look at that drive. This one's a beard crusher. Fear the beard, that's the name that you called for. MVP, yes sir. -y. Two pointers called in for Kobe White. And that ends the first quarter. It's 19-11 score. What a surprise for the first start ever for the Sixers. What a lucky fight out there. 19-11 to score. We'll be right back after this for the second quarter. And we are all set to go for the second quarter. It's now a 19-11 run for Philadelphia. The Sixers really got into great pressures out here for the start meet on. They always need, they've got some uh, great momentums out there that they got played here so far. And along with the other board, they have it all in down in numbers. Now here's Caruso as the second quarter starts now. White on Harden. He just off the time set. Millsaps fell in the pressure out here. And Caruso, oh, a little bit jumper off. And I don't know if it was a block or even an air ball. Well, it's it's close enough, but I'm going to have to check the replay a bit. So I'll keep an eye on that one just in case. That'll be good to know. Harden right, over White. Layup drive, no good. Now here's White. The veteran of the University of North Carolina. Lots of momentum this year, I think. Caruso for three. Good on a triple. That's the first three-pointer of Caruso. It's now a 19-14 run. Harden, outside again. Harden moves to court boss. He spreads his room, trying to fix it away to get right by it. He dish off to Millsap. Shot clock to five. Inside, looking run, two. And it's off again. Thompson gets a rebound. Green, right to Thompson. Drive, score, bucket range. It's down by three. Looks like that Chicago Bulls are really working their way. They're like messing things up again. Harden, in a drive. Both the bucket and one. And now he gives a hit silent on Chicago. They want them to hear loud for Philadelphia. And new changes are going for another different angle as three players checked in and out for Chicago and for the Sixers. One shot coming up for Harden. Free throw falls. Timeout called by Chicago. With 3.29 left here for the first half of the period. Chicago trails to take their way from here. They're trailing by six. All we have known here so far, we haven't seen the Sixers win against the uh, the Raptors here in the playoffs position because what happened already, they've, they've already lost in between each game to the uh, matchups in. For the, for the best highlights here back in 2019, and all because of Kawhi Leonard has already uh, made the buzz beater. And this was happened here in three years ago. They uh, already been out here with the with the astounding one, but they made a finish play. And questions to concern: What is a, what their team is up for? Can the Sixers make a number uh, pick it up a number uh, angle to take a win on the If so, what is your key status going to be? My key status really got, it's going to be very tough. I'm going to have to say that those players are going to be in and out for Vucevic or Joel B. These are the only status I want. Maybe this could be very tricky for them to give it a try. 
Time for Zach Levine for this season. Only 24 points, 39 percentage for three pointage, and 10 games with 16. Yeah, not to mention here for Zach Levine, what they really had done was they're gonna like they were trying to they were trying to figure things out if the if the Bulls might have another average out there. So it can be very tricky to go right for the attack. So they have to find it from another face off, face off in between. Harris with the ball, finding back his heart in. Two points, step back. Look at that play. That shot is on. Swam, makeable. And it's now Harden, 12 points. Dawson Mew finds Levine. In the corner now. Covered up. Dawson Mew back to the D. Rosen. Back to Levine. Six to pocket. With the two. Rebound away Harden. Harden receiving another two, two point eight with another rebound. That's number two. Heavy outside. He rolls back to Harden. Another dribbling motion here as the Sixers are trying to fix up the fix up, Sorry, fix things up here on offense. Maxi for two. Got it in time. Beat the shot clock. Maxi got his first bucket and Harden with the assist. He knows about that point. Tyrese Maxey can just be the only man to start the day. Dazamu driving the main is good. And it's now a six point trail for Chicago. Harden again. Back to Maxey. Maxey inside. He does it again. That's two in a row. Maxey has four points. And James Harden with another assist. Yeah, he knows that one. That's what you can we call that. He's all the money line. Levine can't make the three. Maxi, back to Harris. They are switching changes here on, on the offense and trying to pick up their run. Back to Harris. Harris goes inside. Score to try. And it's now a 10-point game for the Sixers. They're eating it up. Seven points. Cosmo against Harden. Levine against Maxi. Three point. Average taking cut. And it's cut down by seven. All it takes here for Zach Levine, he really has gotten some effort out there. He just wants to push it back and stop the player. Fireball back to Harden. The step in, the drive layup for Harden is good. Here Beard is going everywhere. Another assist here by Five Low. Now it's Jones Jr. Pass to Busevich. The two release. Great D by Embiid. Nice rebound. He is delivering it just like he did before. I know for Joel Embiid, but because now you know he has three rebounds here, just like he had done. But a terrific job. Harris, back to Embiid, 10 seconds left, and Embiid inside. The second bucket for Embiid gives him a delivery run. 34-23, Dazamu for the two, Vucevic. Oh, he made it! He had it in time! I can't believe that Vucevic had it in there. He's just had it all counted up, and he had it in there. Just a great place to be. Now a chance for David. David? I heard you tell the guys to take it to them to play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the basket, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the contact and go to the rim. Tough sledding in there, but we got to get there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you. All right, David. Thank you very much. You'll be right back with the second half after this halftime show. A terrific start for Philadelphia Sixers. Let's have a one more recap again for the first half.
First half statistics complete and updated. And that should do it. Let's bring you back at Wells Fargo Center to start the third quarter for the second half. And if you're tuning in for the NBA 2K playoffs, it's time now for the third quarter to begin. And checking in for James Harden, the beard man, he get there just like he did. His average has got 14, one steal, and one assist. Yeah, the beard man always know that this is the only uh, player that definitely has it all. Because of him, you after the trade in from the Brooklyn Nets, he now knows his way. He really wants to play with the Sixers. So he had a chance now to go for it. Levine on Fiebel. Right to Dawson move. On Arden. In the two. The corner is no good. MB with the ball. He delivers off to Harden. He brings it back to MB. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? That was like a bump thing. Okay, and hey, that jab step was going to be a very tough one. Can't be hurting somebody. What a drive here by James Harden. He has gotten some great plays. And now for number one, for the assist here from Harris. And he's got a own rebound. Never missed by Chicago. Harden back to Harris. He moves over to Maxi. Maxi right to Fievel. Up again, Vader, and he makes it through. He is terrific for this season. Now for Batiste Fievel, he's on the perfect field goal range. Now it's Rudy Vucevic. Right over to Rosen. Rebound again, it's Embiid with the ball. Fighting over it can be a very difficult timing. But they really now know it, just like they did. Of course they've done it, just like he did always before. What they really meant to be, like they have it here. But they've never done it before. Quickly right to Hardy. Nice D by Dazanu. And he has his first, first D to try to go with the defensive contact. Five along Levine. With the two. Releaseman, no good. Five will. And Arden really would like to set things up. But for a B, he has a six rebound of a nine. He does always. He really got there. But now what I need to call for is what he needs to go for his shot. And B inside. It's short. And now it's Musevich with the best D. Trying to stop the attack. Only zero points in the last 244 per minutes. And as move up, it's holding by Fiebel. Fiebel which set the second rebound. Back to Harden. Harden stopping on Dazimu. Move. Moves quickly to Joel Embiid. Back to Fiebel. And Fiebel with the two. And defensive contact has been raised up again. Vucevic in the ring. Back to Dosmu. Right to DeRozan. Over again, Dosmu for two. No good, another miss by Chicago. We're under two minutes left here to play for the third quarter. And Joel Embiid, well played, deserves. Six points for Joel Embiid. And it's Matisse Feibel with the assist. They've just got some great strength out there. He is on fire. I love Noel. Joel. Now the timeout is called by Chicago with only a minute and 37 to play. They have some uh, absolute numbers out there. They're just gonna they're gonna need to try to like get some uh average on the man players. They may have some uh they may have a next ranking. I might be ready for enough to try, to try to take a ball if they wanted to go for another one. Because that, that can be a very challenging step to take it in here as well.
some new changes for the Sixers and the Bulls. As they are all checking in for an hour one at a time, D.A. has all five players checked out and five players checked in. Oh boy, looks like Kobe White did this dunk run, and he did. He succeeded. He was definitely making the key to try to keep the dunk in there without losing the ball, so he didn't want to lose it, just like happening in the last game, just like the Rosen did. Millsap, he goes in the paint and he slams it. Well, Millsap was just all he did. He did it now, but did he do it? Oh yeah, he did. White on Milton. Screen not giving up. And a slight T here for Williams as for, uh, for another more progressive here on defense. On the Yang, he goes for another rebound. Green. In the paint, drive a bit early here, and he will have to go back the other way. White on green. Back to Caruso. Caruso, right through three. Good on the triple. That's Caruso with the assist. Caruso has really got some, uh, he got some uh, higher players than this average. This really has going for all and for everybody. They now need to know that this can be a very difficult run to take their attack. Green, back he over, he's built it. Six on the shot clock. Green inside, good for the double. Danny Green, delivering up, and now he has his first bucket. White, Ron Milton. Five to shoot for the third quarter. With one second, and Kobe White can't hit the free, for, free two points, and it's now a end of the third quarter. Reaching for our half star out there, looking for Sixers to make the lead here tonight. They've been in. If there's game six, there it will be game six. Happening here in the next game after game five. Fourth quarter is next when we come back. And with the only candidate here, let's present the state guard assist of the game. With all the pressure, it all does what it takes. I'm pretty sure that this is like a good one. Harden with all the ball, he had, he had no problems getting there fast. And that was happened here in the first quarter since that that playmaking drive can definitely be honored here. One quarter left to go for the playoffs of game five. 44-30. Let's do this. Green outside. He only has his first bucket here and his first rebound. Green moves over to Corpons. Max over Maxi. Over Caruso. Payoff shot, no good. Caruso going back to the arrow lane. Chicago working their way up. Trying to whip it. And the foul is on Corpons. Caruso heading to the free throw line to shoot two. And Chicago hasn't really picked up his free throws yet to give them a start. Well, because of what they did here, it was very tough because that was no lack of adoption. They've already got done like biggest numbers that they have played here. And then what happened here, this was a tough rebound in this game. Not gonna say not gonna say anything, but this is very tough. Caruso hits one down. And now the new change that was occurred here on Chicago as Williams is checked out and it's Jones Jr. checking in. Second free throw is good for Caruso. Six is still in the lead with only 4.25 remaining. Now he moves over to Millsap. Almost tipped out of bounds, but he holds out. He holds his breath and doesn't want to hit the flip. Kirkmaz up. Great shot. A release spin for Kirkmaz. And that was his number two point bucket score. 
five points, like a good handle out there. Thompson delivered to White. White for two. No good on the run, and that's another rebound taken over by Millsap. Quirk boss in the Everlay. In the corner now, just trying to keep it going. Now, Pnea gives it off. Millsap helps with the screen. Two release mid floater, no good. Quirk boss up. Oh, get that out of here! Thompson delivering the first block. And oh boy, we got another contact foul. This is on Paul Millsap. Their second team foul. Yeah, not a great run out there. But the block goal turned out for Tristan Thompson. That was great. But that foul was just a terrible mistake. This all happened because what he had done, he, he rushed him. That was after him and he went badly, went down on the floor. First free throw falls. Now Millsap is checked out as three players will help him out. White stays on the court. Eros and Rusevic and Gazimu are checked in. Four players checked out as Danny Green stays on the court. And B will come in to help them. Gazimu really sees that Jones Jr. really have gotten some two two free throws, and he's just like a kill-out momentum. Now, Joel Embiid. Tobias Harris with the screen. He goes inside. Look at that jam dunk! It's a jam Embiid! The process is alive, and he is ready for everything. Might be ready for a second round and they win it again in game six. So it's coming up later after game five is concluded. Dosimo with a drive and he's going right back in the Everlane. Bulls outstanding the 44 position of field goals, 66 percentage for the Sixers. Back to Harden, back to MB. With the two. Stretch the floater, it's a number two point score for MB. Chicago trailing by trailing by 26. And Vucevic hits the dunk. Vucevic got there quick. Now he needs to keep that momentum in mind that it really got gone just like that. Harden up to Denny Green. He moves over to Maxi. Maxi trying to force him on Kobe White. Green. Over Jones Jr. Two points good. And oh, he says, what the heck? Did I just give you a high five out there? I didn't really see that. That was like the only only out here. It should shouldn't really happen. MB, great T. Now he goes right back to Tobias Harris. Back to MB. He finding help with the screen. Danny Green. Right back up again. Two point release mate. Danny Green can't hit. White back in the other way. And Jones Jr. slams it down. With a slam cam, this all turned out to be just like that. Well, I didn't really say that Jones Jr. was going to slam it, but that was all that happened when it took care of it. And that was a uh, slam cam review here from AT&T 5G. We love slam dunks. Last minute left here for the fourth quarter. Maxi back passes to MB. Oh, and he's fouled! Rusevic gets his first personal number team foul on Chicago with 53 seconds. Joel B wasn't able to catch him up right at the moment, but that was all his moment out there. He just fade and he bumped him. What happened over here? That was very weird. Really wasn't counting on that one, but the foul.
first free fall, drops it. Joel and B looking for his time to like to be here, to be racing up, get the fans loud, and they want to go for it. White and Cone Jones Jr. checked out. Caruso Levine checked in. And Danny Green is checked out. As the Batiste Bible comes in by. Second free throw is good for Joel and B. 12 points of the game average. It's now 54 to 40. Dazimu on against Harden. He goes right to Vucevic with the two looking back in trouble, and it's Vucevic able to stop here. Back to Embiid. He goes right to Bible. Back to Harden. Harden inside the paint. It's a great drive, and a, what a wacky run. This wacky guy is going to be on his feet. James Harden is like a beardest man I can get. And a quick draw foul on Joel Embiid, his third, first third team foul on Philadelphia. They stopped the clock at 22.8 seconds. As Vucevic heads to the free throw line to shoot two. Yeah, it was not good to hit from the back. You can't be just allowing the man to go right from behind the, behind the man from himself, because if you go right behind him, they could definitely foul you. Shoot two. First free throw is good for Vucevic. And with all that time after playing with the Magic on this run, the legendary of this player has already been like finished here for the game. New changes are coming in for the Bulls and for the Sixers as all five players checked out. DeAndre Jordan is checked in. Vucevic hits two free throws. Here's Milton. 20 seconds to play here in the a, in a second half of the game. And he wants DeAndre Jordan to go by. Gives it back to Milton. And it's Niang with the ball. Back to Milling. And he will close it off. Sixers wins the fifth game. 56 to 44. It's a crushing score. And now it's Lee taking over his Philadelphia. What a big time. What a big effort out there. They all congratulate them. And they'll be back again in Chicago for game six. And now with a quick court side is David Aldridge on the sideline. David, do you take it up from here? Thanks very much here with James Harden. James, this team adds on to its win streak. How important are nights like this as you move forward? Uh, it was huge, man. We, uh, we did an amazing job. We continue to get better offensively and defensively. Guys are stepping up, so uh, we got a long way to go, but we're in the right direction. It is not where you start, but where you finish. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. A fantastic five, five game for this one. It's not, but not for game one and two. But it's all really stands out the shot. Out the shot. Really does stand out between the others. Right there, Sonny Beast? Yeah, they do. All it turned out like they did here before. And now, with the three star players of the game, let's take you down to you, Sonny Beast. Number three, please. Oh, sure thing. Here's number three. We all checked out here before, but this was a tough breakout. Ayo Dasimu has nine points, two rebounds, and one assist, but he was knocked out. So it was Tobias Harris that picked up his third game of the of the uh, lineup that turned out to be for him. It's a 14-minute court and seven points, one rebound, and just four assists. Now for you, Mifo, to start it off. Thank you. Round number two is Joel MB. The process has gotten 12 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist, and performing 1 dunk. He's like on a roll. What a play, what a play drive. Also, the process of himself, he's overrated. Now for your number one. Number one for the New Balance player of the game. This was all it turned out. I'm going to say it was James Harden, the beer man. 18 points. Three rebounds, six assists, and one steal. 
all turned out for perfect uh, effortability. They really got some great higher average. One dunk, two. And that should conclude the game for the Sixers and Bulls, and they will be back here in Chicago for Game 6 once Game 5 is all finished. But now we're still waiting for another team to try to win it off and then head on over to face against the Celtics. Most of those team on the, uh, on the average could be a very difficult run. So, with that being said, me as Mia Phone and Senate Beast are gone. We'd like to thank you for watching for this NBA presentation. And if you're tuning in for the last game of the Nets and Heat, the game is coming up right after this. So, I will still be on here, and Senate Beast will not be on here. We will have another commentators bring us here for tonight, and I'll be ready for everything. So, this has been a presentation for the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22. Until next time, peace out everyone. For a while again, as a playoff dial of NBA. See you guys next time for the last two games in between the runs. Timberwolves and Grizzlies, then the Bucks against the Cavaliers. Enjoy the rest of your night, folks.